so hello everyone i hope you guys are doing well and in this video we'll be talking about uh, the maximum number of points from grid query and this problem is a part of this uh, weekly contest 3 to 3 and this is the last problem so yeah this problem is a bit difficult as compared to the other ones and also if you are just uh, getting doubts in any of the ever problems you can check out the playlist that is mentioned in the description section of the video that will going to help you okay so yeah so this problem is uh, totally related with uh, you know graphs uh, disjoint set union like many of the like uh, many of the i've seen in the uh, solution section they have solved with the you know uh, dsu plus offline queries like binary search also i don't know like uh, yeah the solution was interesting but uh, i can tell you about this problem is like uh, like what how like how i have solved this problem is through priority queue and sortings as it is okay so the idea is very much simple like i will explain you a bit by bit how i reached up to that kind of idea like priority queue plus uh, sortings and how this will help you in lot of problems like you know if you start thinking in a stepwise manner then you can reach out to the you know one of the best ideas that you can have while solving a problem okay so yeah so you are given a m into an integer matrix grid and array of queries of size k and you have to find an array answer of size k for each queries and for each query you are going to start from the top left cell of the matrix and we have to repeat the following process if queries of i is strictly greater than the value of the current cell that you are in then you get one point if it is your first time visiting the cell and you can move to adjacent cell in four directions otherwise you don't get any points after the process you have to return the maximum number of points you can get return the resulting areas okay so you don't have to worry about if you're not getting anything uh, like in, anything useful over here i'm going to explain you the problem in a stepwise manner so let's try to analyze this one so let's pick up the example over here uh if i can copy the image uh okay so it's far better to remove this one so let's write down one two three and we have two five seven and we have 351 okay so this is the matrix that is given to you and we have the queries as as 5 6 2 okay so uh, the problem asks you to find out the you know maximum number of points that you can reach for each query so your answer would contains three elements obviously okay so uh, for for each query you have to do that so let's say you are at the query uh, one which is the value as five okay so it says that you you must start from the top uh, top left cell okay that is at this cell and you can explore to each of the adjacent cells in four directions okay only and only when uh, the neighbors that you have must have the element value which is going to be less than strictly less than five okay so let's say you are at the current element uh, let's say you are at the current cell this one and you have the adjacent cells let's say the adjacent cells have the value x y z and w okay so you and you have the query value as 5 so you can reach to x only and only when uh, x is less than 5 you can reach to y only when y is less than 5 you can reach to z only if z is less than 5 you can reach to w only if w is less than 5 if you look out this statement queries of i strictly greater than the value of current cell that you are in then you get the one point so if you are able to reach this cell like from this cell if you are able to reach this x you will get one point if you are able to reach this one you will get one point if you are not able to reach this one then you will get zero point that is you are not able to reach this one so that is the main concept and you are starting from the top left cell okay so you are starting over here and the value of cell is 5 so 5 is greater than 1 okay so 5 is greater than 1 so you can visit this cell so if we are able to visit it let me encircle it okay now you can uh, check out the adjacent neighbors can we reach over here yes because 5 is greater than 2 you can reach over here so you will gain gain 1 points okay note that you have to check through uh, adjacent neighbors in four direction you cannot jump from to from 5 to 7 you cannot jump from 5 to 1 over here 
you have to check out adjacent neighbors okay so can you reach out to over here yeah you can reach out over here because 5 is greater than 2 can you reach out over here yeah you can reach out over here 5 is greater than 3 okay now can you reach out over here yeah 5 is greater than 3 now can you reach out over here no you cannot reach out to so because 5 is greater than 5 which is false condition okay now uh, you can see you cannot reach any more cells so also you cannot jump from 3 to 1 because they are not adjacent okay so what is the number of points that you are going to have uh, 1 2 3 and 4 5 so your answer for this is 5 okay so uh, let's check out for this cell 6 uh, like sorry for the query 6 so for query 6 you can see uh, one uh, you you will start with one yeah one can be reached two can also be reached three can also be reached two can also be reached three also and again five also five also right and similarly you can have one also what is the number of cells that you have reached which is nothing but eight okay so and on regarding the element two you can see now we are talking about the two you can reach out only this cell that's it you cannot reach out to any of that just itself so for this answer is one okay so this is the entire process that you need to understand so one of the approach is brute force approach so for the brute force approach you might you might be getting the idea that for each query for each query you have the query value let's say it would be x like x can be 5 6 2 and you will start from the top left cell and you will just check out the adjacent neighbors you will just again if they are satisfying the condition like x must be greater than that value cell value then you can reach out to that cell uh, like uh, you can reach out to uh, let's say x is 5 then you can reach out to this one this one this one and for that you need to perform the breadth first search okay so the complexity will be you know o of q like for each query into and in the worst case you are just iterating the entire matrix o n into m okay so it will be o of q into n into m where q is the number of queries so you can see queries is given as 10 raised to the power 4 and m into n in worst case is given to 10 raised to the power 5 so in the overall iterations will be 10 raised to the power 9 which will obviously give you time limit exceeded verdict okay so you need to optimize the brute force solution okay so now how you are going to do that okay so uh, you don't have to worry about so let's try to optimize it uh, step by step let uh, let me erase everything okay so okay so what i'm going to do is uh, let's say we are just uh, working for the element 5 okay so for the element 5 you can reach this cell you can reach this cell uh, okay so give me a minute uh, for 5 as well as for 2 oh, yeah okay so let's say we are just first working on the element 2 okay so for that case you can see I can reach out to only this cell okay now uh, for the next uh, query let's say we are having the query as 5 okay so uh, for uh, for query as 5 you can say that uh, like you uh, the number of cells that you can visit is this one this one this one this one and this one okay now i'm just writing down one statement that is going to be very important for each query satisfying uh, you know satisfying let's say q dash greater than q okay now uh, we have the query q dash and let's say for now q dash is 5 and q is 2 now for each query q dash which is greater than q there is a uh, like there is a necessary condition uh, not calling it as necessary uh, it is obvious that the answer that we get for the query uh, 5 let me change the color it is obvious that for the answer that I am going to get for the Q dash, let's call as A dash, must be greater than A. Okay. And A dash, that is the cells that A dash will cover uh, and the cells that A will cover uh, will be satisfying such that A will be a subset of A dash. Okay. So, let's say I am going to write on A cells that, okay, so this condition is waste. Uh, 
says that uh, q equal to 2 will cover and a dash will be cells that q equal to 5 will cover so for every query whose value is greater than all those values which are smaller to that uh, uh, current query it is obvious that this q dash will have some will be, will be covering some cells let's call it as a dash must be a super set of for all those values with, uh, for all those query values which is smaller than the current query okay so let's say uh, you had you are having the value as 6 okay so for 6 you can cover this one this one this one this one this one this one and this one there are eight eight cells you can cover it okay now you can see 6 is greater than 5 as well as greater than 2 now the cells that 6 will cover must be a super set of for all those cells which 5 will cover as well as 2 okay you can see uh, uh, for the query 6 you have 8 cells and for query 5 you have uh, you know 6 cells I think 6 or what 1 2 3 4 5 uh, sorry for query 6 I think uh, you will be having you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, yeah and 8 cells okay so for query 6 you have 8 cells and for query 5 you have 5 cells okay and you can see uh, the, actually the cells that 5 uh, will cover is a subset of for the cells which 6 will cover okay so let's say a5 is a subset of a6 okay and the element 5 and 6 will denote the query value so this gives us the idea that you need to traverse the queries in a sorted way okay so let me write down the approach to traverse the queries in sorted order that is from uh, ascending order okay so why I'm going to do that okay so the reason is very much simple uh, uh, because if we are able uh, to cover up the cells that are being visited by the uh, let's say the element 2 which is only this one and now let's say we are just moving on to the query 5 okay that is the query with value 5 so we don't have to cover this cell with value 1 again we will cover all the new cells like this cell should not be visited again and again so we will co cover only these cells okay now when we come to the query 6 you don't have to cover 1 2 3 2 and 3 again like these cells which are already covered you will cover only the new cells this, that is this one and this one this one if we traverse the query in a sorted order that is the main idea okay so uh, we will traverse the query in sorted order and again another uh, thing is we will perform a you know simple breadth first search okay and you know you need to do this breadth first search using priority queue because you know you have to just check out the adjacent elements and you must have to start with the smallest elements values okay so this priority queue should be used so this is the basic idea so let's take a small example and let's understand how this will be done and i'm going to use the same example which is 1 2 3 2 5 7 and 3 5 uh, 1 1 2 3 2 5 7 2 5 7 and we have 3 5 1 3 5 1 okay and we have the queries as uh, 5 6 2 okay so when uh, we will just sort this query so it will become 2 5 6 okay so when we are at 2 okay so we will start with the this 2 value so you will check uh, what are the cells that 2 will visit so 2 will visit this cell only so the answer for 2 is 1 okay note that for each of the queries like 5 and 6 the answer for 6 must be greater than or equal to answer for 5 must be greater than or equal to answer for 2 it is obvious because the cells values are actually uh, like queries values are sorted okay and okay now let's move on to the cell 5 okay now cell 5 will obviously visit this cell 1 also because 2 is uh, visiting this cell uh, 1 uh, cell uh, with value 1 then 5 will also visit this cell with value 1 because 5 is greater than 2 
and what are the cells that five will visit this is all already visited we uh, we are not supposed to visit them again so this will be uh, visiting again like this will be the new cell that should be visited this is should be visited because five is greater than three similarly this one and this one note that you need to move in adjacent manner okay so you can see there are four new cells that are being visited in extra for the current query and one cell is visited already so one plus four is five so your answer for this is five okay so uh, again you have to check out for six six one you can see extra cells are this one this one this one which is three cells so five plus three is eight okay so let's head out to the coding part how this will be implemented uh, very carefully because you know you might get errors if you're not uh, uh, just uh, having a you know clean implementation for this one okay so one of the best implementations that I have done in one shot I think yeah I have just uh, passed all the test cases by just submitting exactly one time okay so we have this ns grid size m as you know number of columns and k is the query size and our points will be initialized with zero and we have this answer vector that will uh, store the answer for each queries and we had just having the pairs so uh, this uh, will store queries in sorted order okay now we have this visited vector okay now this visited vector is important because we are just having the you know performing the breadth first search and we have this priority queue uh, this will ensure ensure that elements will be visited in ascending order now uh, this is important because you know you must have to visit one then we have to two then you have to three and you all you have to put the elements in the you know priority queue uh, you know min heap priority queue min heap so that smaller elements come first and then we need to explore the neighbors of this smallest element okay now we will just push back all the queries with their indices and we are just sorting it okay so that query will be sorted in ascending order now we will just uh, uh, okay so let me write down queries sorted in non decreasing order okay now we will start with the you know topmost left cell okay and we will just iterate for each queries which are already sorted so the current query value is you know pairs of i0 and uh, index of that query is pairs of i1 and we will just use this like we will just extract the elements from the priority queue till uh, you know till this condition is satisfied you know query value must be strictly greater than the current cell value if the you know topmost element is greater than the like smaller than strictly smaller than the query value then we'll perform this operation like we'll increment our point like the cell is visited and we'll just explore the neighbors and we'll just push back into the priority queue okay so yeah we'll extract the cells index x and y and also we'll increment our point now if x plus 1 x minus 1 y plus 1 and y minus 1 are still unvisited so we'll just push back into the priority queue and we'll mark them as visited okay and also when everything goes well and this uh, while loop terminates when the priority queue becomes empty or you know this condition will will not satisfy like query value becomes less than or equal to the the cell current uh, current smallest cell value in the priority queue then this while loop will terminate and yeah for each uh, for the current uh, uh, current query value our answer will be number of points that we have collected so far okay now this is important because you know for the point 5 answer will be the number of points collected by 2 and the number of points collected by 5 similarly for 6 it will be the number of points collected so far and finally we will return the answer that's so simple so yeah so let's submit this code again and check it out yeah it's accepted so yeah so if you have any doubts in any part of the solution so you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel also okay